Hello folks and welcome to your camper van handover video here at the Wee Camper Co. Now as you can see we have different styles and configurations of camper van here. So there are slight variations, however they do all function in the same way. First things first is the pop top roof. To raise the roof, simply unfasten the ratchet straps above the passenger's and driver's seat and then push the roof up using the handles as support in case of any high winds. The upper bed inside of the van is raised by simply pushing upwards. And we're on to lowering the roof now. To lower the roof, simply grab the handles at either side and pull down. Now it's very important to pull the canopy inside the van before you pull the roof fully down. The reason for this is that there are hinges on the back of the roof that may tear the canopy if the canopy is caught between them. So you want to avoid that. Once the roof is down, Roll the canopy back inside and tighten the ratchet straps to ensure the roof is secure before you drive off. Now it's also very important to make sure those straps are nice and tight before you head off and that there's no kinks or twists in the strap. Please do ensure you take these points on board as we want to minimise the risk of damage as much as possible. On to our rock and roll beds now. And we have two styles of rock and roll bed which we'll demonstrate for you now. On this style of bed, simply lift the handle in the middle and pull the bed towards you. Pop your weight down to secure the bed and the seat belt buckles can be tidied away just behind the cushion. And on this style of bed, simply lift the handles and pull the lower cushion out towards you. And underneath the middle cushion, there are two release handles. So straighten them out either side. And on the back, simply release the strap from the back cushion and fold. On to folding up the beds now. And on this style of bed, just simply push the right hand handle inwards and the bed will fold back in on itself. And on this style of bed, simply pull the back cushion towards you, middle cushion up to meet, and attach the strap. Fold the release handles on either side. Lift the lower cushion in on itself, and pop your seat belt buckles back onto the seat. Lift the handles and push. Onto the gas system now. Your gas bottle is located at the rear of the vehicle inside a steel storage container. And depending on the system, there are two or three switches which turn the gas on. The first is on the bottle itself. Second is on the regulator. And the third, if there is a third, will normally be located underneath the hob inside the cupboards of the van. Igniting the hob is just like any other household unit and you will either have a built-in igniter or there will be one supplied for you. It's also very important to make sure the driver's seat is forward before cooking. Please also remember to support the glass lids as you lower them on this type of hob. And of course, remember to turn the gas off before you continue on your journey. The ledger system on the van is completely automatic, therefore just plug into your campsite and you're good to go. This keeps the ledger battery charged and also means you can use the plug sockets inside the van. The lights, fridge and additional USB ports in the van can be used at any time without the ledger system being hooked up. Depending on the vehicle, you will either fill the water tank from an external filler or there will be a water tank inside the cupboards of the van. 
Simply remove the pipe, fill up at your water supply and you're good to go. Again, depending on the vehicle, you may have to turn on your water pump before using the water. This is usually a switch located near the sink. There is a table located behind the driver's seat of the vehicle. Simply lift the table out of the cradle and pull the top of the leg mechanism before folding the leg out. The diesel filler can usually be found on the passenger side of the vehicle. And depending on which vehicle you have, you may also have an AdBlue filler. However, don't worry about this, there will already be AdBlue in the tank before you collect the vehicle, and there is no need to fill it back up. So upon returning the vehicle, please ensure you remove all belongings and rubbish, including bottled water, food and sleeping bags. Please also return the vehicle with a full tank of diesel. Simply park the vehicle up, drop the keys off at the depot, and we will be in touch as soon as possible to return your deposit once the cleaning and inspection process is complete. And that's all from us today folks, I hope this has given you an insight into how to use the van, but if you do have any questions please do get in touch. Have a great holiday and we'll see you soon.